Welcome back everyone to yet another Skimcast. So today we are going to learn about React Native Navigation. So we will create a few components and then we will navigate those components uh, between those screens using uh, the React Navigation module. So before I get started, I want to tell you something that I'm not going to basically use the exact React Native setup. Instead, I'm going to use something called Expo. Let me show you what I mean. So I think you're already familiar with Expo. So Expo is a great tool. It basically uh, SDK that is utilizing the React Native behind the scene, but they're making things a whole lot easier for us. So I think this navigation system is going to work in a, a new React Native setup or in an Expo setup. Right now, I have a fresh app up and running. So if I go to the app.js, they're telling us to edit this one. So I'm going to change. Let's see if it's still working or not. Save that and it worked. So kind of cool. So the first thing that I want to do is I'll open up the terminal in VS Code and then I will basically in install the React Navigation using NPM. You can also find this guide in the Getting Started page of the React Navigation. Again, you will find this link in the video description. So if you're using Yarn, you can install it using Yarn, but I'm going to use npm. So I'll say npm install, that's the save, react navigation, hit enter, and it will install the react navigation in the npm modules. So after the installation of the react navigation module, there could be an error message like this and the ideal solution is to remove the node modules directory so i'm going to delete the node modules directory and then again in the terminal you have to type npm install which is kind of messy but that's how we're going to solve the problem okay okay so now that is done so now what i'm going to do here is again exp start so this is going to bundle all the packages and prepare the app. And once it is done, then we are going to another terminal and we're going to simply say exp iOS. So this is going to run the app in the emulator. Here we go. Now we're basically going to create a few components. So I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to simply call it components. And inside here, I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to call it home js and uh, let's say user always a profile of js and uh, let's say feed dot js so we're gonna have uh, only these three components all right all right so now let's first go to the home component and I'm gonna go ahead and copy the uh, code of the app component and then paste it into the home component as well as in the profile and then the view and in the home i'll rename the class name to home and i will change the text here hello from home okay and i'm going to save it and in the profile i'm going to also change the class name from app to profile and i'm going to change the text to hello from profile and in the feed, I'm going to do the same thing. So changing the component name, the class name, and hello from feed page. Uh, now I'm going to have to import all of these three components in the app. The app.js will now work as if it is the route file, okay? So I'm going to import the home component here from components home. And I'm going to duplicate and I'm going to just say profile and as well as the uh, feed component save that and now let's test if the home component is working basically so i'm going to simply return the home component here nothing else and hooray it worked you can see here the hello from home so here i have to import the create stack navigator uh, which is provided by the react navigation so import create stack navigator from react navigation 
and then uh, we're basically in uh, we're basically going to instantiate this quick stack navigator so we're going to say constant uh, root stack still so we are going to pass all the components in its object that we're passing through the correct stack navigator parameters so uh, we're going to have home so home is going to indicate the home component and then we're going to have the profile so that's going to indicate the profile component and then we're going to have the fit so that can also in, uh, indicate the fit component save that and now this root stack is basically a component and we can basically use it in here let's save it and as you can see uh, it's saying the hello from home which is pretty intuitive all right so now in the home component i'm going to create a new uh, button that will basically uh, will, when we click on the button that will take us to the profile component to the profile screen okay so i'm going to import button from react Native. And here I'm gonna add the button. So hello is gonna be go to profile. So we have the button now. Go to profile. In this component, a prop called navigation is being automatically injected. We can just access that using the this.props.navigation.navigate, okay? So obviously we're gonna have a anonymous function here. And I said this.props.navigation.navigate. And uh, here we're gonna have to just uh, tell in which component we want to switch from this home component so we want to switch to the profile component so here we're gonna to have to just say profile and if I save it now if I click on the go to profile and it takes me to the profile component how awesome is that so go to profile and we're in the profile and I can easily drag back to the to my previous screen or previous state okay awesome use another button here and I'm gonna say go to fit and here I'm gonna say fit component so go to profile this takes us to the profile component okay and if I go to go to fit this takes us to the fit fit component how awesome is that now uh, let's say while we navigate to another component we might want to pass some additional data to the fit component as a props by the way this is really easy to do all we have to do is in the second parameter we have to pass an object and in that object we can basically send any types of data we want so let's say I'm gonna call username is let's say username is mark I'm gonna save this and now in the fit component I have to import the fit stack navigator again from the react navigation in order to have the navigation props in the render method okay so I'm gonna do this. So import create stack, create stack component uh, navigator from React uh, navigation. Okay, and inside the render method. So basically, inside the render method, we are going to do what? The constant. Uh, let's say username equals to. Uh, this dot props dot navigation uh, dot get param which is the parameter so remember uh, the parameter was uh, the object key was username so it's gonna be the same username and in the second argument we can basically pass a default value so there could be some situations where we still do not have an username so we're gonna give it a fallback value that we can still use okay so let's say for now just say no username provided we're gonna use another text here and we're gonna simply print the username here save that now if I go to feed and as you can see it's passing the data while it's navigate to the feed component 
So for example, I want to change it to, uh, let's say, Bill, save it, and go to Fit, and Hello from Fit page, Bill. And as you can see, the um, back button is also functional, which is pretty awesome. So I will recommend you to go through the documentation side of the React Navigation. They have a pretty good API to start with. So go ahead, play around with all the documents. And I'll be also uploading this code into my GitHub account. And the GitHub repository link will be in the description of the video. And that's all for today's video. I hope it helps you to understand the navigation concept of React Native or in Expo maybe. So if this video helps, please do subscribe in my YouTube channel. And if you want more future video about Expo or React Native, please let me know what kind of videos you want, me, you want me to make for you. And also go ahead and follow me on Twitter and on my Instagram at this username. Thanks for watching the video. Have a great day.